Alright everyone, welcome to a new role-playing game called Stray Gods. It's apparently a musical game that plays in the same vein as most, uh, I believe, choose your own adventure type of games, so... In a sense, kind of like Telltale, I believe. Um, I only saw the trailer to this game, and I know it just recently came out, or better yet, I think it came out today? And I'm actually pretty excited, because after seeing the trailer and what it had to offer in terms of, uh... A telltale, a telltale like experience in terms of uh, story as well as gameplay and bring in a whole new aspect to it which is pretty much a musical you know it's all a recipe for something that just seems all the more intriguing to me so I'm gonna test it out I'm curious about it hope you all join me on this new adventure guys because this seems pretty interesting so if anything else let's get this bad boy started Four hours. Four hours in a rented gym that still smells like socks and childhood trauma, and where did it get us? Other than bored? The band wasn't even looking for anything specific. We just wanted change. We wanted to see who was out there, if they'd show up. Well, they showed up all right. You know, I had a dream where this exact thing happened. Except we were on stage. And naked. We were auditioning? Not all of us. Okay, it was just me. I was naked. I think this went better. Oh, okay. So let's see. Couldn't be worse. You're trying to make me feel better. Maybe we should try that. <laughs> um... I like all three choices, actually. You're trying to make me feel better. Hmm. In your dream, was the stage on fire? Because otherwise, I find that hard to believe. Whoa. Can we do that for our next gig? We are not setting the stage on fire, Brian. Please stop asking. Okay, let's just wrap this up. Kaz, do you need a ride? Just to Brian's. I'm, uh, crashing on his couch until I get a new place. What? You said it'd be two days. You know you like having me around. Whatever. Have you heard yourself snore? Hey, Grace, you okay? I know you've been kind of loose ends since you left college. I was just hoping tonight would cheer you up. <laughs> Definitely like the art style to this game a lot. You're the best. I'm okay. It's frustrating. I know you meant well. Uh, I'm assuming the hard hair means the best response. She's asking how we're feeling. Uh, I don't look like I'm feeling all that fantastic, you know? I'm okay. I'm fine, Freddy. I'm really okay. Yeah? You don't seem okay. <laughs> well, I guess I just... Uh, I just thought this would be easier, you know? How did I even get here? I know. It's okay, Grace. I'm right here with you. Music is your life, Freddy. You're the drummer, the lyricist. All of this was your idea. I just... I wish I knew where I fit. I think you fit. You know that, right? Yeah. You coming? I'm gonna hang out a bit and lock up. I'll see you at home. Like a boat lost at sea with no sails. Not a breeze I am drifting cold waters No star to be seen Is the world too much or is it just me? 
Everything I set upon unravels at my feet. Everything I've learned wasted on a girl who doesn't know how to be free. Like a boat lost at sea with no sails. No star to be seen. Oh, uh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I, I didn't mean to interrupt. I just, I heard you from outside. My name's Calliope. You, you have an amazing voice. I hope you know that. Uh, thanks. I'm, I'm Grace. Are you here for the audition, or...? Uh, yes. <laughs> yes, I am. Calliope the Muse. If anyone read or watched Neil Gaiman Sandman, you'd know who this character was, or at least who she is in reference to. <clears throat> She's actually a muse. Everyone else is gone. Let's hear it. Are you sure? Uh, okay. Okay. Did you, uh, bring an instrument or some music? I kind of bring my music wherever I go. <laughs> All right. Well... With the fire furious, I have burned my tongue. Grief from all the promises, too many dreams unsung. All the steps I didn't take and paths proved untrue. Is there any path through? Like a boat. Choose your trait. I like these songs. In your face, this grace is very punk rock and not afraid to get reckless and aggressive when it's called for. This grace, this is grace with soul and charisma. She tries to do the right thing and everyone likes her more for it. Clever. Sometimes you need to think your way out of a problem, right? This grace is sneakier, smarter, and witty. Uh, I like all three, but I guess they want me to pick how I believe or perceive Grace to be. I would go... I feel like she's charming. Maybe we'll be able to pick other uh, traits down the line, though, to com combine it with uh, the current one we have. And we'll just build up her personality from there. That's what I think is going to happen. But for now, I go with... Yeah, she's charming. that your song was just so wonderful i had to finish it with you i hope that's all right i also know what it feels like to be lost to feel as if you have no place to turn that's why i had to come inside 
I wonder if she was able to sing the songs she sang with Calliope because of her presence. She's supposed to represent uh, being able to give you ideas or allow you to do what you're most talented at doing when you're stuck. Hmm, can I ask what's wrong? Have we met before? I'm glad you did. Ah, I okay, I like this one, have we met? And I also like I'm glad you did. I'm glad you did. That was... I've never experienced anything like that before. I'd be surprised if you had. What was that? It felt like... The music was everywhere, like it was coming from inside me. It always has, Grace. Just as it was when I walked in. May I ask you why you feel so... adrift? You're so young. Surely your life is... just beginning. Now nah, we're gonna be honest about it. We're not even gonna joke. It would sound stupid. <laughs> Try me. Well... I left school because I didn't feel like I belonged there, but I still haven't found my place. What am I supposed to do? Where am I supposed to go? Shouldn't I have figured this out by now? Those are good questions to ask. I should go. Uh, about the audition. I'm sure everyone will agree you're in, if, if you want to be, that is. I hope to see you again, Grace. <laughs> Perhaps soon. Right. See you then. Did you lose your keys, Fred? I thought you'd be... What the... Calliope? I didn't know where else to... I'm so sorry, Grace. Yeah, I was about to ask, how did you know where she lived? Ah, uh, how'd you find me? What happened? Screw it, get help first. Oh god, you're hurt. I'll get help! No! No, you have to wait. You can't go. I didn't want to do this to you. I... Not like this. I'm so, so sorry. What do you mean? Hey! Calliope! Please? Please, come on. Oh, um, I can wait. Take your time. I... Who are... Is that my door? Technically, it's my door. Or our door, maybe? I, um, I came as soon as I could. Hermes, huh? I'm pretty sure it's not him that did this. Uh, 
Common sense dictates who are you, but we also need to help. I think she's dead. We need help. You need to call someone. Or... Well, I'm someone. I got called. Happens every time one of us dies, you know? <sighs> she really is dead, huh? Man. So, the course is gonna want to talk to you. Sucks, but, you know. Ah, uh, because I'm not badass. Or what was the first, uh, what was the, <laughs> the other trait? I can't, uh, ask, I can't choose this particular choice. The chorus. The chorus? You mean the authorities? <sighs> Are they coming? I guess they're authorities? But they're not coming here. We have to go to them. Look, I can see you don't know squat about this, so I'm gonna explain real quick, but then you gotta come with me, okay? When Cal died, you saw a shiny thing come out of her, right? That was her soul. That's what made her a god. A what? It's in you now, which makes you a god. Surprise, right? You with me so far? Cool. Let's go. Sorry to drop you and run, but when an idol dies, there's like a hundred different things I gotta do. No, 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 wait. Where did you bring me? How did we get here? The chorus can explain. Don't touch anything. Okay? Wait! Come back! <sighs> okay. Yeah. I'll just wait here and, uh, not touch anything. I like that owl. Our beloved sister, the last of the Muses, has passed on to you, our new sister, delivered to us by dear sweet Hermes. It's, uh, Grace, yes? Um, yes. Oh, my, my. You have had quite the day, haven't you? This awesome mistake. Who are you? Calliope's really dead. Someone died in my arms. Where is this? How did I get here? Who are you people? Oh, so many questions. This is my office, and I expect you arrived through one of Hermes's portals. The shiny doorway. <laughs> As for who we are, well, that does require some explanation, I agree. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Athena goddess of wisdom. This is Apollo, god of prophecy, dressed for the occasion, as always. The wondrous Aphrodite, goddess of love. And the one glaring at you is Persephone, once queen of the underworld. Together, we are the Chorus. We rule over the idols, our name for the gods who remain. All of us, hidden in your modern world. And you all live here. Wait, gods are real? But gods aren't real. They can't be, they're just- Stories, myths, legends. If you're real, you'd be all powerful. You wouldn't be hiding or- mm. Don't pay much attention to those old tales about us, Grace. They weren't very true to begin with. And 
Well, truth be told, we've diminished since those days. That doesn't mean we're helpless, of course. Far from it. Yet, at the end of the day, we two are just people trying to get by. And you live here. You said I'm a god now. Wait, you said, and Hermes said, that I'm a god now too. And an idol. That is true. That, that thing that came out of her that went into me. We call it an Eidolon. The part of Calliope's soul which made her an idol. Which now makes you one. Athena, we are wasting time. The reason you're here, Grace, the reason why we made you wait so long while we debated, is because we have rules. Those rules mean we can't admit into our ranks a usurper. <laughs> Never mind a possible murderer. I know this will all come as a shock, and I'm so, so sorry to say it, but I'm afraid you have to die. Yeah, not happening. You want me to die? But, but that isn't fair. I know, I know. But consider it from our point of view. A dear sister. Someone who traveled with us through the ages. Gone. But I didn't do it. Aren't you supposed to be the goddess of wisdom? Can't you see this isn't right? Calliope's blood is literally on your hands. But, isn't... Oh, she looks so helpless. Maybe we, we should... should do as we agreed. Calliope's line would end, yes, but what other option do we have? Let a usurper remain an idol? Justice has to be done, for Calliope's sake. But... This isn't justice! If you are lost, little girl, this bears explanation. Dear child, please listen. You have usurped a muse. No recourse to be arranged, but it's unfair. I know, but our laws cannot be changed. But she came to me. You must realize there are simple rules. If one of us dies, these rules have been the tools that she. You must know. Us. I didn't do it. Is it weird this isn't song? Now that the muse is gone. Now that she's gone. Disagree. Did I hear that correctly? You've been quiet this entire time, Apollo. Why speak up now? I grieve Calliope's loss just as much as the rest of you, but I, I can't let you do this. He's right. What if Grace speaks the truth? What if Calliope chose her? <sighs> And what if Calliope was murdered by her? What if Grace stole her Eidolon? Then we need to find out. Don't you want justice? Oh, Apollo, I thought we'd agreed this was justice. What would you have us do? We need to find the truth. Let me prove myself. I can prove myself. Uh, if you let me, I can try. 
We aren't seriously considering this. Oh, very well. This one time. I put a motion before the chorus. Do we allow Grace the right to prove her innocence? Yes. I think so. Yes. <sighs> Fine. And there we have it. So I live? What just happened? Have what? What just happened? A am I free? Do I get my day in court? Yes, you shall. You say Calliope chose you. I would like to believe that. I truly would. You have one week to find out what happened, Grace. What happens after a week? There will be a trial. If you cannot provide proof of your innocence by then, oh, our original verdict stands. Hmm. I see I could ask, but they're probably going to be a bunch of jerks about it, so I'll go with uh, will do. <coughs> okay. Okay? What do you want me to say? I can't possibly do this. This is unfair. You know all that already, right? So I'll do my best. That's all I've got. We're not going to keep you, Grace. You have much to do. Before you go, however, a few rules. Do not reveal our existence to the mortal world. This includes mortal authorities that cannot help you. Do not harm another idol. Do not leave the city. Do as the chorus commands. Otherwise, do whatever you must to find the true killer. If they exist. Oh, that's all? Welcome, dear sister. And do help yourself to a cookie. Time to head home. Oh, okay, that's my only option. Got you. End of the road. Grace? Grace! Uh, hi. Hi! 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 You're kidding, right? When I came home, the door was wide open. You weren't answering your phone. Kaz and Brian are still out looking for... Grace... We thought something happened to you. Did something happen to you? I became a god. They didn't find a body? No, they, they probably didn't. We're gonna have to make up a story. Um, yeah. Kidnapped by aliens. Well, if you don't want to tell me, you don't have to. Big, scary aliens. <laughs> you were gone all night. Why didn't you answer your phone? I was calling and calling. This wasn't some hookup, was it? Because, you know, you can say it's none of your business, Freddy. The heck is this dude? Now, bit I should warn you. Uh, Freddy? You might not want to turn around. Why? Did your hookup return? Did they bring flowers? Are they preparing to serenade you? Hi there. Uh, uh, who is this, Grace? Why does he have horns? <laughs> Good question. Hmm, that's the next best. Honestly, your guess is as good as mine. To answer your question, my dear, you see the horns. Because I allow you to see the horns. That's crazy, right? As for who I am, I've been known most often as Pan. So you call me that, if you must call me anything. Pan, of the Greek gods, Pan, right? But he's some kind of cosplayer? 
The days of idols being called gods are well behind us, I'm afraid, but I assure you, I am the real article. I've come to offer our newest idol a helping hand. Or perhaps two. You do look lost, don't you? <laughs> what do I get out of it? That's if I picked Witty. Who sent you here? How can you help? Can we talk in front of Freddy? That's a good question. We were told to keep things on the down low. So we can just talk about this in front of Freddy. Haven't you? Darling. And here I drop my glamour and everything. It's just, I was told we're not supposed to. Talk about it, that is. Talk about what? Grace, tell me. The prohibition is against revealing the idols to the mortal world. She's not the mortal world, is she? She can be trusted, can't she? Why do I have the feeling that I'm going to regret not leaving with Brian and Kaz? Oh, I can guarantee it. Uh, okay, Freddy. Have a seat. Let's talk. That's it? Huh? I guess. Do you believe in this, Grace? I had proof. Sure, but I had proof. I traveled through a magical door. Which sounds extra cool. <laughs> I was a little distracted. Well, I have a million questions, but I can ask them later. The important thing is that I am here to support my best friend. Hmm. I like the I like the top one and I like this one. Actually, no, I like this one too. You're taking this well. You're the absolute best. What did I ever do to deserve a friend like you? You sat next to me at lunch period, dummy. Oh yeah, right. My friendship comes with all sorts of benefits, up to and including the tracking down of supernatural killers. Such darling camaraderie. It brings a tear to my eye. It truly does. Speaking of killers... Whoa, whoa, whoa. You wound me, dear lady. I've come to offer advice to our newest idol, a foundling who is set adrift most cruelly. What's in it for you? How did you know about me? Why so suspicious, Freddy? Tell me your advice. I'm very skeptical of him, too. So you're here purely for my sake, then? Like a charity case? My dear sweet girl, as far as you're concerned, I am the god of charity cases. Mm -hmm. But you're not, are you? Pan was the god of lust and mischief. Doesn't sound too charitable to me. Ah, yes. The old tales of the gods. Such antics, such fantasy. Pay them no mind. Okay. How did you know about me? Seems rather convenient, you showing up with advice. How did you even know I existed? A little bird told me, if you must know. Very useful, those little birds. He's not gonna tell you, Grace. There's not much to tell. Among the idols, news travels swiftly. We are a tiny village of godly busybodies. I heard of your arrival, and I know how obtuse the chorus can be. So here I am. You're welcome. <laughs> how do I know you're not the killer? Hmm. Tell me your advice. You know, you could be the killer, for all I know. Hmm, come to mislead you, perhaps. How fiendishly clever of me. Well called, darling. And maybe even true. Poor, poor Pan! To be eternally maligned and mistrusted. Alas, and alas, and alas. <laughs> I doubt there's a line of idols waiting to offer you advice, Grace. But whether you accept mine or not is for you to decide. All right, well... Okay, I'll bite. What's your advice? I have to admit, I don't really know where to start. Well, I'm not normally one to run amok telling others how to live their lives. 
But have you considered using your powers? My powers? Music, art, passion. You are the last muse, and all these are now your province. The chorus starts singing, my province. Sounds pretty cool. Hmm. What do you mean, my province? Each of us has, uh, how shall I say, our talents? Yours is music, as befits a muse. <laughs> You're like the original rock star, Grace. Okay, but how does that help me find Calliope's murderer? Allow me to expedite the process of understanding. Now then, close your eyes. You hear that? It's coming from you. When you sing, what emotion does it summon? Um, I don't know. You open your eyes, you look into the crowd, and you feel... Powerful. Grace, you know that you're lost now. You've been given powers you don't understand. I'm the guy who can help you. All that you hear is at your command. Wait. No, it's okay, Freddy. This is all me? What do I do? Start singing. Now? <laughs> Why not? Time's wasting. How the hell did you find me? This is the weirdest night I've ever had. And you say I have powers? How could this possibly turn out bad? Am I doing it now? Brilliant. I don't follow. Are those really actual horns? And this singing is so hard to swallow. <laughs> I know. Can you hear me, Grace? What's going this on? <laughs> it's so titillating. Grace, we gotta be careful. Has he slipped something into our drinks? Spouting crap about powers. He could be dangerous. What do you think? Can we all loosen up now? Remember this madness is happening to me. This music makes sense to me somehow. But pulling me round is not what I gonna be here all the time how dare you you don't know me if she has to be pass me some wine grace is this how you let strangers speak to me lost girls lost girls you all love your lost girls a rescue that you can take home whether you're me Whatever I want. Well, you can't stop time, so. Grace, I'm frightened. It's okay, I, I think I got this. I never knew I had that in me. Who's making this happen? This isn't a game. You don't understand. This has all gotten out of hand. Nothing for Grace will ever be the same. Lost girls, lost girls, you all love your lost girls. A rescue that you can take home. Oh, you can see we're at home. I see what I see, kid. Freddy has no idea, kid. You'd be far better off on. Maybe the muse is 
isn't feeling the gravity? Or do you refuse and like ostriches happily stick your heads in the sand? Grace, I could be your right hand. Freddie, you better leave her alone. Let me do what I do or she'll sink like a stone. Lost girl, lost girl, I know I'm not a lost girl, but this is all new and I don't know what to do. Should I stay with my bestie? <laughs> this goat's getting testy. Won't be lost on my mm. own. I'll always be home. Sorry to break it to you, Pan, but I'm not abandoning my best friend. That? That's your choice. Humdrum mortality. How about trusting in those who love her instead of those who want to use her? Oh my. Such drama. No matter how you employ it, Grace, this is the power of a muse. Drawing out that which lies within. I trust you can see how that might be useful in your investigation. Yeah, I kind of got the idea. It's like each of the colors also represent the characteristic trait that uh, they gave me in the beginning. But also... It's kind of one of those things where it's a time choice as well, and it's important whether or not you pick what you need to pick, and it will affect the story, you know? Hmm. This is perfect. I think so. I forced people to sing. I didn't have full control. That's also true. Um, I don't know why... I got the idea, though, so... We'll go with this perfect. I'll make them sing a song of confession. <laughs> exactly so. But only if they did it, right? I draw out the truth, not make them lie or do something they wouldn't. Oh, you will be a natural at this, I can tell. Amuse does not command. She evokes. She elicits. She inspires. Look, Creepo. Grace already told you to take a hike. So she did. Allow me to get to the point, then. For all your powers, you still need a place to begin your search. And this I can provide. An address. In the city. Where Calliope was staying, I do believe. See, with Freddy, like, there were certain looks she gave that made me a little iffy on her. And I still don't know if I made the right call. I only did it because, uh... She's been known to be this girl's best friend, you know, since the beginning of the game, which was pretty recent. Uh, but for all we know, she could also be a suspect. I don't know, but for now, I guess I'll take what I can get. You should have led with that. Thank you. Want to go there yourself? Let's be thankful for now. He did help us out a little bit. Her address? Thank you. That's perfect. Thank you. Now this, this I consider a favor. One I hope you'll remember in future dealings. Ah, that's perfect. We can look for clues there. What this Calliope was doing, who her enemies were. I should remind you there is an element of danger. A killer is on the loose, no? And here I was already thinking he was a decent dude, and he goes and pulls that off. Well, surprise, surprise. Then I'll need her help. Maybe next time, Freddy. Oh, they gave me another choice to, like, ditch her or whatever. Ah. Uh, then I'll definitely need backup. You'll be fine. After all, what's a mortal to do that you cannot? I... I, I can speak Hindi. Okay, fine. I get it. I need to find Kaz and Brian. Just tell them you're okay. If uh, not the other stuff. Then I guess I'll go check this place out on my own. So glad that's settled. I'll let you get to it. I've drinking to resume. Ta-ta. All 
I'll say that was fun. Not a lost girl. I actually like that type of gameplay. It's again like your standard uh, choose your own adventure. It gives you a quick uh, time frame as to what choice you need to make in order to continue or progress the story. And depending on the choices you make, it'll affect the outcome of the game. At least that's what I believe. I'm still a little iffy on Freddy at the moment. They're, like again, she makes certain facial expressions, and for all I know, that's just her being cocky that her friend picked her instead of uh, Pan, and that's fine. But other times, I also get the impression that that look doesn't just mean she's cocky, it also means something else beneath the surface. Um, but if anything guys, this was a fun game. I'm gonna take a break from here, so we'll continue on the next one. So thank you all for watching.